Welcome to Faces of Parkinson's. I'm Robert Cochran, and today I'm joined by best-selling author Steve Alton. Steve, how are you, my friend? Good. How are you, Robert? Doing real well, thank you. So, Steve, we have a lot to talk about, and I want to start with the Parkinson's side of things. Um, when were you first diagnosed, and what was the feeling when you got that diagnosis? I was diagnosed 12 years ago. My first symptoms I noticed were uh, I was getting horrible toe cramps in bed. And then I noticed that uh, I was walking funny, sort of like Frankenstein, where my arms weren't swinging, or my right, it was affecting my right side of my body first, which is my dominant side. And, and, I, and I, was, I went to the neurologist and he said, you, you may have Parkinson's, the onset of Parkinson's. And how old were you at the time? <clears throat> I was 47. 47. So you fit the early onset uh, category at the time. And what, what was your what was your reaction to that? I mean, was this completely out of left field? Were you at all thinking this might be a possibility? I suspected well, what I was worried about was something worse, you know, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease or, you know, something horrible like that. So in a sense, it was a relief. But then again, my symptoms weren't that bad at the time, so I didn't know what, what I was in store for. Right. And a lot, a lot of times what people look at at that point is they say, okay, especially as a relatively young man at that point, how am I going to continue to live and earn and you know support my family? You are already a best-selling author, of course, which is good. Were you worried about your writing career going forward if it was going to affect you? I didn't believe that it would. And, um, you know, I didn't know how was going to go i try to uh, my philosophy was i'm going to fight this naturally i'm going to work out i'm going to eat well you know i'm not going to take the medicine because the medicine has so many side effects uh and i was able to stay without any drugs at all for about uh seven or eight years and then in the, the summer of the eighth year uh my symptoms increased to the point where it was affecting my um ability to maintain my balance. I was I was leaning so far over, my gait was so off that with my head leaning forward, I couldn't stop myself from walking. So I would have to walk into walls and, and it got horrible. And I tried a number of different things and nothing worked. And, and so finally I, I waved the white flag and I said to my neurologist, you know, start me on the meds. And he started me from, you know, having taken nothing to three centimeters in a day. And it was too much. And, you know, he, he said, this is what you have to take. And I, I, I sort of fought him on it. And uh, at the time, I was introduced to um, a, uh, a biochemist in Europe who was working on a natural extract that did what cinnamon did without any side effects. And, and through some Parkinson's patients, I was able to meet with him. And he sent me his uh, extract, and uh, I had one. I, I remember I had one horrible night, Robert, uh, where my family was away for the weekend, and I was alone in the house, and I was lying in bed. It was about two in the morning, and I felt this. I felt this coldness creeping up my legs like death. Scared the hell out of me, and I got out of bed. I stumbled into the kitchen, and I grabbed this extract that this guy had sent me from England. I hadn't tried it yet. And um, I took a spoonful of it, and I went back to bed because I was exhausted. And as I lay in bed, a warm feeling started rising up my body, like everything was going to be okay. And it was the extract. And I was so relieved, so thankful that, um, well, I'm, I'm trying to support his research now. And... Uh, and it's, it's, what it's done is enable me to stay off the heavy drugs in heavy doses, which I think is important because, uh, unfortunately, with Parkinson's, you need the drugs at some point. But, <coughs> excuse me, I'm fighting cold. Um, you need the drugs, but, but they cause so many harmful side effects that it sort of takes you down a path that you don't want to go. You're, you're, you're flying down a, a, a cliff face, and uh, this natural extract, has prevented me from having to go down that, at nice. least for, for now. So, yeah, so at this point then, just to clarify, you're not taking any uh, traditional pharmaceuticals, you're only taking this extract and then exercising, I'm guessing doing some nutritional work, is, is that accurate? 
Um, I'm taking about two or three centimeters a day okay. in addition to the extract. But our goal, which I'm going to start after I get back from our movie premieres, which are coming up this week, is to get off the cinema. And, and because if I get off the cinema, he has a new program, not, not a new program, but a, a program that's new to me called Neurogenesis, that um, when you're on this particular extract, a different one that I haven't tried yet, uh, it can help regenerate neurons in your brain. And that's exciting to me because that could possibly lead to a cure. So, um, you know, I'll certainly report back you know, to you on, on the progress on that because I know you have a lot of Parkinson's patients who are watching this 